This is it. All out monster truck freestyle from the 2024 Bigfoot Open House. The drivers get to let it hang out and do whatever they want on this custom made freestyle track. And setting the tone out first will be Chris Parrish in Kaiju and the LMT based monster truck. Those gnarly J Concepts tires on the front and back of the truck, reaching for grip on this nasty gravel based asphalt surface that we are competing on at Trigger King at the open house a unique environment and Parrish taking advantage of the loose environment going for a donut the drivers have 60 seconds they can touch the roof or roll on the ground one time during that time and then the next time the performance is done looking for big air and a lot of technical approach we'll see who can come out with the most ridiculous run and take home the trophy Time. Close in with a backflip on the roof. Make some noise for a kaiju. And like that, 60 seconds flies by. Kaiju finishing the run, expiring the time as the truck hits the lid after a backflip to close out the run on a high point, waiting for the scores to come in. It'll be a 21, a good starting point on a 30-point scale. Three judges with 10 points each. We'll judge each freestyle performance. Yeah, I know. I still make time for this stuff, though. The next cool. truck up. Down there and started. Cluster cool. truck, Danny Moss. Yeah, number one. Almost put it on the roof. We're waiting for it. Some nice, tasteful action. I think he's got that thing in low gear. Moss only competes there. at Big the Bigfoot, Bigfoot Open House Star each year. And for this event, he put together a very you know, special cluster it. truck. Right, this truck. is... A TRX-4, a Traxxas trail-based TRX-4 truck with monster truck tires that he is freestyling. There we go, disrespectfully flipping it back over. 30 seconds in, you're halfway there. Mass known for his and cluster go, truck Garvin. fleet, a well-known name in the RC industry, making one of those rare appearances. Nice. Really doing a good Keep job with a truck not do really yes, intended yes, to eight, do oh, this one, sort eight. of performance or abuse. You hear the trackside announcer, Habo Gutierrez, keeping the audience live and engaged calling all the shots along the way. Sure means business out here. The lights are on, the truck's equipped, the course is yours when you're ready, and we're off. The roof did not touch. That's live. We got a live ball, folks. First responder, well, said, Mike Arnold, Arnold on the track right now. Home. All right, that roof is on. The lights are lighting up the dust. There we go, tossing it right back over. Spinning the block one more time. He's just out there ripping this thing. But Whoa, <laughs> finally breaks the truck, rolls it over. He'll be done. That looks like a Groff driving if I've ever seen The score will reflect the short run. Only about three hits there, and six That's points will do it. Sending the truck out onto the course. It's cleared and ready for takeoff. Watch out, air traffic controllers. On the track now, Andy Salerno, notorious. There we go, nice Start. little jump. Watch the little one's ankles, man. Oh, man, DQ, if you go out of bounds. There we go, nice, big air to slapper. Andy loves the Ninja Turtle truck, but he's got this awesome truck that loves to land on the roof. Yeah, that's the deck truck. 20 Good. seconds, 20 seconds 20 down. seconds in. You got 40 seconds left, bring your heat. Nice, clean backflip, sticking it on that left rear. We'll see if that comes into play later in the run. May have weakened that corner, if he can hold it all together. Halfway, Halfway there, 30 seconds left. Whoa, that's going to be a wrap. About 30 to 40 seconds in. Habo with the call on the track as we take a look back at the highlights. The score is going to be a 12, not going to be enough. Not quite what Salerno was looking for, though, either. Max D on the track, Austin Grozier. Too soon. He was okay. 
Instantly oh, up and over goes, first obstacle. Not what he was looking for. He's still got another right, shot. He's got time left. I'd probably say 50 seconds. Give or take. 10 seconds in. So we're going to see if he can remix it to ignition and fire this thing, keeping it running. The red Max D. Usually an alternate Max D. The Neil in. Elliott Max D, I believe. 20 seconds in. Nice air, keeping it safe, conservative, making sure no one catches this truck and takes it home. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, and this man means business. He's halfway there. Can he seal the deal? He wants the whole enchilada, not half of it. Oh, it looks like he's lost front wheel drive or something, because it's looking a little weak, not wanting to pull it around. Or he might only have front wheel drive. Yep, that's what we're seeing. He's lost rear wheel drive in true men's that's fashion, just truck. running into something, man. It'll take it. There we go. Five seconds. Five seconds it. left. Send that thing. Boom. That's going to be time Big for the front flip Maxi. to round out the run. Mechanical five. Gremlins being fought the entire run. So a nice performance. Puts him in second place, I believe, with a 16. Mike actually takes about 40 feet of tubing into each chassis. Here we go. We're starting off truck over truck action. Normally, got to buy a ticket to see that kind of stuff. But right here, it's happening for free here at Open House. True Tim Jones fashion. Oh, Buffka with an incredible go. move with his Griffin. fully scale custom tailgater. Buffka, because you could do it. We have not seen a move that cool. Bobby Chandler's over here sweating, not because of the heat, but because of those cool moves. I promise. There we go, some nice air. Doug, the pilot, hanging out. Halfway. Halfway there. Don't send it to the moon. That's one, that's one. If you're halfway there, well, then boot it. Tasteful hits, then boot it. Oh, clean double backflip. No rebound, no bounce. Keeping it all together. How much time's left, Chris? 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Don't let that thing out. Oh, back to back. That was a cork double backflip. He said, the deal. Oh, it's good, it's good. Park it, leave it right there. Buffka filling the time. Incredible run in the tailgater. And as you can see, full custom chassis, setting the tone early with the truck jump right at the start of the freestyle. Some tough hits, but making magic on the track with some of those moves. There's a lot of work in that truck, and he's probably got a lot of work to do after this run. But... Beautiful run from Buffka, and he takes the lead. Living after midnight, Troy Haas on the track, a brand new creation. Truck Challenge owner, team manager, and representative. He traveled the nation going to RC monster truck shows just like this. He claims his back hurts like a real monster truck driver, but I don't buy it. There we go. His back might hurt from bending over to pick that truck up. Habo, brutal on the track there with we the go. quips. He's back at it. 20 seconds in. He wants to steal the whole enchilada, cheese, sour cream, and all. Up and oh, over. Troy, a little That's too the juicy. end of it for Haas. What, what was that? Taking a look back at those highlights. He had a couple moments, but not the run that he was looking for. Only a nine. But hey, he didn't crack the body, so he's got that. He's got that brand new body still going. We've got backdraft on the track. That incredible brand new custom truck, and it's up and over on the first hit. Some of these trucks right, are so drive. beautiful. You see them crash, and it just hurts right now. Backdraft, reckless abandon. That's a, he's yeah, that's like it. he's on rooftop. fire, and that's going to be it. Yeah, that's going to be time. Score only a six. The judge would be extra judgmental because it's a grave digger at a Bigfoot party. There's one roll. I hope you judge that. Up and over on the first hit, Dennis Lane and Gravedigger with some struggles to start. What bring a Gravedigger to a Missouri event here at Bigfoot's? Very cool. Nonetheless, Lozy offers a true platform to start and get into this hobby, offering race-ready machines that can do stuff just like that. But that's going to be time That'll for end Lane. it. The score only a six for Dennis Lane. Definitely not what he was looking for. Some struggles out on the track. We got the menace. He's doing the little parade laps. He's waving at the crowd. Getting them pumped up. Here we go. We're off. 
I seen this guy at the parking lot meet up last night, getting some testing and tuning in. He came all the way from New Jersey to strut his stuff with that menace monster truck, lozy face and equipped. Yo, huge backflip, steal the deal. This guy wants another one. Whoa, there we go. We haven't had too many combos. Bubka might have some work to, you know. He's got to do some defense because this guy's got all Halfway. off base. Trying to get the seconds. transfer. Nice clean save. Keep it alive. Halfway there. The momentum is untackable. He's got combos. Touching everything off the track. He needs business. Where we go? That's one rollover, but it was very cool. Keep it alive. Don't let that room touch. 15 seconds left. He could do it. My buff is in the KC95 hot seat, and he is sweating right Five, now. Five, four, three, two, one. Menace bringing some top level ridiculousness to freestyle, and that's exactly what it takes. That truck was all out of shape, but Menace, he did a good job with keeping the technicality in it. He was working the throttle. He was working the reverse, the brakes, the steering. He was really aware of what the truck was doing and he is rewarded for it with a score of 28. A well done run. The trophy could be going back to New Jersey. Oh, this one could be hard to watch. Camden Vass in the brand new Wild Thing All freestyling. Right. Oh, no. Oh, oh break what your he heart is, on the first hit. Got. That beautiful Chris truck up and today, over. He got him out here working with that aerodynamic mohawk. Up. Out. That thing might need Apple CarPlay or something, man. He needs a GPS install because he doesn't know where he's going. There we go. Nice air walking out wild thing. Got the cool sunglasses on it. Nice big air. 30 seconds. 30 seconds in. Halfway in. He could steal a deal. He just wants to fill the clock. He's going to hit the throttle over here, guys. Yeah, we do have spectators. You don't want rocks hitting ankles because that definitely hurt my toe, and I'm a large man. 15 seconds. There we go. Wild thing kicking dirt, living up to his name. Letting her eat. Man, chipping a tooth, maybe. That's time. Save the body. There we go. Make some noise for Wild Thing. Nice run for Wild Thing. A little bit of a rough start, but recovered from there. Definitely one of the coolest trucks at the event in Pacific, Missouri. The score is 17. Very respectable as we move on to William Arnold, the veteran. Another beautiful looking truck. Clearly a lot of work that has gone in oh, and right upside rib. down off the start the first obstacle but no one's asking me that's what we're getting the veteran going up oh saving it getting a little risque yeah come on let, Colo let them know what colorado's really about well yeah but it's like that out here now too yeah 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 it's everywhere man the veteran is also everywhere big air Riding on that ragged edge, spitting rocks. You need your own shoot near rock, courtesy of William. Oh, you can there hear you the man, crunch, the abuse, the body is going it. through. But hanging there in go. there, he's oh, looking yeah, like he's going to fill the time. A really nice, really solid run so far. Here. And that's time. 45 seconds Up in. and seconds over. Seconds that the ends the run Colorado's with 45 Arnold. seconds on the clock. A lot of crunch moments on that beautiful truck. The score comes in at a 16. Although you've been doing this long enough. All the way from Colorado, the team, Awesome Kong, out of the Troy Haas camp. This is our fearless announcer for the live event. Habo Gutierrez driving Troy Haas Awesome Kong. There you go. Well, keep doing that over and over. You score points easy on the roosting guy. 
<laughs> nice little combo there. Halfway point. The bug over the back flip lands it beautifully. Very good. Absolutely wild. Moment. Some of the others. Craig Organist was flat wheelie there. Makes to get a good combo. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Big air cool. Swing to the right there. Not a bad run. Over the back flip. Oh, not going to save it. Nice clean run for Habo. We've seen a lot of ridiculousness out on the track and not a lot of that there, but a very clean yet still aggressive run for Habo. And the score reflects it. The score is a 20. That'll be very solidly in the upper part of the field. Fury, the stomper, getting ready to stomp the yard. Chris Lane in the stomper. He's won right, some Trigger King oh, freestyles before. He's nice. definitely a freestyle really force. Here we go. This is, for all the marbles, he could do it. He could shut it down. He could steal a deal. Because I know whoever's winning is definitely sweating right now. Who is in the lead? It's going to be Menace of Alex DeLima. It could be yours. And you got to fend off the Stomper and the LBC RC. Oh, almost getting a nice clean transfer. Man, this is one good looking truck with a clean. Oh, oh roof did wow. Not touch. That is clean. No roof. No roof. That is a live truck. Nice That's save by Chris He's Lane. It on, folks. Nice All out of shape, cover. seeing firsthand why he is a oh, freestyle winner. But it looks like the truck has shut off. That is probably the end and probably ends his hope of a freestyle championship at the open house. Great run, a 24, a fair score. That was a fantastic run, but didn't quite fill the time. Man, it would have been great to have seen what he could have done with that last bit of time. But here is a defending champion of the Bigfoot Open House, LVCRC. He's taken home the freestyle championship before. Can he do it again? Man, those gears are crunching, man. This guy, you're defending open house champion right here. 15 seconds. Trying to get the biggest little trophy. Whoa, that's one roll. Save the truck, save the truck, just roll it. Roll it back over. I know you guys like saving it, but these trigger team guys have a lot of rules. You can't just drive like that out here. Other places, maybe. Whoa, that was clean and textbook. Caught transition. Laid it all on the line, rolling fast front flip. Neil Donald eats your heart out. 20 seconds left, he could seal the deal. The judges wear size $20 bills and handshakes if you need to pay them off to get that extra two points. Nice, clean, regular backflip. That's real basic considering you did a double. Come on, put it in reverse, Terry. Back her up. Yeah! That, that's that's a run. Right what, what, what did it stop on? 59. 59 seconds. An excellent run for Garrett Bendel in LVCRC. He gave it his best shot to back up and defend his freestyle championship from 2023. We're waiting on the scores to come in. This is going to be a tough one. I'd hate to be the judges. And it is not enough. A 27 puts him in second place. What a freestyle competition at the top of the field. Incredible. Taking a look at the freestyle results, the top three, the podium. These guys laid it down and pulled some incredible things out of their hats with these trucks. Mike Bufka in the awesome tailgater coming in third with a 25. You see the highlight reel there. This is going to be non-stop highlights all the way through the podium. Defending champion Garrett Bindle in the LVCRC coming in second in the freestyle competition in 2024. One point short. An incredible run. I would have hated to have been the judges. I would have hated to have had to compete against these runs. Incredible what these guys are doing 
a lot of crunching gears, a lot of risk, a lot of luck, and definitely some skill for sure. As we move to our freestyle winner, burning the track down. He really set the tone when he came out, and then everybody was trying to catch up. Menace, Alec DeLima, all the way from New Jersey. Incredible the reach that this event has. Colorado to New Jersey, Florida to Michigan to Wisconsin. Incredible to see the fleet of competitors here. And Alex DeLima comes out on top with the trophy in freestyle. As always, we appreciate you joining us on Trigger King RCTV. A big thanks to all of our supporters and our sponsors. Stay tuned to this channel for more Trigger King RC action coming up. We thank you for joining us. We'll catch you next time.